What's up guys, this is Bearded Bomber with a special set of skills with another installment of Games to Play, looking at games out there, both new and old. This week we're going to be looking at Diaspora Shattered Armistice, a Battlestar Galactica themed space flight sim just released in early September after about four years of work by an independent team of programmers, artists, and developers. Diaspora was made using the Free Space Open Engine, so you could technically consider it to be a mod, but then you'd also technically be wrong. So hideously, hideously wrong. Diaspora is a standalone game, which means it doesn't require any installation of the actual Free Space program to operate, which is pretty nifty considering I don't have a copy of Free Space, nor have I ever played. Speaking of never actually having done something, and I hope to God I don't alienate any of our viewers at such a crucial, crucial stage in our fledgling channel's life because of it, I've never actually seen a single episode of Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. All I know is Edward James Almost is on the show, and robots sleeping with humans, and stuff about vipers and raiders and what have you, and I pray that all the fans who eventually watch this will forgive me and that we may find a way to move on from this horrific revelation. Now, back to the game. The game comes with two modes of play, campaign, albeit a rather short one, and multiplayer, which falls into modes like co-op and versus sorties. During the campaign, you play as one of the pilots aboard the Battlestar Theseus, a ship that takes the brunt of the Cylon resurgence after about 40 years of dormancy. Following a couple of training missions, you eventually get your first taste of sweet, sweet space combat. It might take a bit for you to get used to the uh, key settings on the fly, yeah, get it. But you'll have the chance to get comfortable because you'll probably wind up like me, replaying your missions over and over and over and over again after getting mobbed from behind by multiple raiders. The game isn't very forgiving at times, especially in the midst of combat, but it does highlight the game's point of survival. In most missions you play, you're overwhelmed, outgunned, and on the run from superior forces. You do have the opportunity to give commands to your AI wingmen, such as target, cover, escort, and break, and uh, they're pretty well suited for doing their own thing when you're busy, but uh, one thing I do want to mention is that they are complete and utter kill stealers. I think I ended my first major engagement with like two kills, and something like 12 assists, they are bastards. But it's pretty, you know, it's pretty fun regardless. The primary game is pretty simple for a space flight sim, fly, shoot, kill. But Diaspora also comes with a mission designer add-on that allows you to create sorties from scratch with the ability to manipulate and organize placement of any in-game object within a playing field. It takes a bit of fooling around with the program settings before you can effectively build a combat scenario, but once you get the hang of it, you can make damn near anything. Like simple dogfights, to escort missions, assault strike games, obstacle courses, space sumo matches with some of the bigger ships, stuff like that. It's uh, pretty cool. I suggest you check that out. That does it for this week's Games to Play. Check back next week for another episode. And uh, I'm going to go queue up some Battlestar Galactica on Netflix. So thanks for watching. <laughs>